Um, this isn't me uh, judging you in particular, but I have met many, many atheists. And you can't speak on their behalf, but I can because they have came into my path. And that's, um, I don't think they're true atheists, or at least their motives are, are true or are fair. Um, you can't just, in my opinion, call yourself an atheist just because you've seen no evidence of God. Then that would make every human being on this planet an atheist. First of all, I most certainly am an atheist because of a lack of compelling evidence for gods. What other reason could I possibly need? And secondly, you just acknowledged that there is no such evidence for gods, and yet you believe. Why? If you've had some sort of personal experience or revelation that has convinced you that gods or a god exists, then that's fine. I can't possibly refute that. My question is, why should anyone else believe it? I do have to say that the whole idea of God, um, this word God, amongst all religious people is that you do have to take a leap of faith. And I talk about this leap of faith um, on many of my blog TV sessions and on many of my other videos, uh, which I do recommend you inquire. And uh, this leap of faith is about um, believing that your eyes are here as a test to see if you can see beyond matter. Uh, and that, you know, our doubt is here as a uh, exam to quiz our vitality, you know. And I've been, I've al I always speak about this a lot, I think. And, uh, and that's the whole point. So as far as uh, putting yourself in the atheist category because there is no uh, evidence, it's just, that's just too easy, you know. I think it's too easy. And life is more complex than that. It is, whether anybody wants it to be or not. This leap of faith you are talking about is no different than asking me to suspend my understanding of reality, which I cannot do. I can pretend to, but my rational mind will not allow me to completely ignore everything that I've learned and understand about the natural world to believe in something fantastical that cannot be backed up by anything. This is why I've always believed that people believe in gods either because they never really critically examined what they believe or because they just desperately want it to be true. It makes them feel good. It is the junkie argument. I find this idea of faith to be at best misguided and at its worst potentially dangerous. Faith is belief in something without any evidence or worse yet when there's evidence that is contrary to it. How could any rational person embrace this? With evidence and logic, I can feel confident that the things that I believe in are actually real and that I can make well-informed decisions based on what I believe. With faith, on the other hand, you have a very, very high chance of being wrong. And that is why I absolutely reject this idealization of taking leaps of faith. Now, in, you said in your videos that I have faith that there is nothing out there. Out where? I don't know. But you're talking about gods in the hereafter and, and all that other stuff. I don't have faith that these things don't exist. But I don't make claims that they don't exist. Excuse all the double negatives. All I've ever said is that the positive claims for these things existing lack sufficient evidence and therefore I reject them. There's no good reason to believe that they're real. Now I'll agree with one thing that you just said. Being an atheist because of lack of evidence for gods is easy. And it is. It's the most logical conclusion. The god claim has not been sufficiently backed up, and therefore I remain in the default position, which is non-belief. And I'll go further than that. To acknowledge that there is no evidence, and yet choose to believe in it anyway, is a form of self-delusion. You believe in it because you want it to be real, but faith has never made anything real. I'm going to repeat something that Agnostic Man 77 said in one of his recent videos, which I couldn't agree with more. Arguing for something's existence is stupid. If something exists, it should be able to manifest in some way that is observable. Now please try not to misinterpret what I just said, because I know I'm going to get bombarded with a bunch of brainless comments like, oh, well, you only believe in things that you can see. I've gotten enough of that from people. No, existence must be demonstrated to be accepted as fact. And arguing a case for something's existence is retarded. <laughs> the, question that, the questions that I want to ask you is, why are you an atheist? You know, you must get this a lot, but I want to know why. You know, did you grow up Catholic? Did you grow up with um, 
religion? Um, did you grow up Christian? Were your parents not religious whatsoever? You know, uh, did you change your mind? What happened? I want to know things like that, just with you, just personally. And I'm sure you've gone over this a thousand times, but when I try watching your videos, some of them are pretty, uh, rep um, are pretty repetitive. You know, and so are mine. I'm, I'm really, really redundant. But, um, but yeah, I just want to know that. I want to know why. You probably missed where I mentioned in earlier videos about my non-religious background, so I will reiterate that right now. And I apologize to everyone for being repetitive. I never believed in gods. I never belonged to any religion. I was raised primarily by my father, who is an atheist, but my mother is a secular, non-practicing Jew, so she's pretty much an atheist as well. Now, I was not raised to be an atheist. It was always understood that it was absolutely my choice to embrace any religion or spiritual path or philosophy, as long as I become all fanatical about it, and it would not be subjected to ridicule from my family. Now, technically speaking, I've always been an atheist. When I was a kid, I had no interest in these subjects, and I was an atheist by default. Uh, as I got older, and began to take an interest. I was still an atheist by default because I had no presupposed ideas or opinions on the existence of gods. And as I learned more and researched the world's religions and common beliefs dealing with gods, I realized that I am an atheist because I cannot accept these claims as fact. It's not because I read one Richard Dawkins book or I saw some Christopher Hitchens interview or I saw a few videos by The Amazing Atheist. I am not so easily swayed. Now as for my motives, I didn't come to YouTube to sell an idea or to convince people to be, to be like me. I would prefer if more people accepted reality for what it is, but I am certainly not trying to paint a picture of the grass is greener on my side of the fence. I didn't come to attack people's beliefs or to start flame wars, or certainly not to hate anyone. Gen generally speaking, I don't have a problem with Christians. I don't look at people like Venom Fang X and conclude that people like him represent mainstream Christianity. And while I do not dislike people who are religious, I do dislike people who are willfully ignorant. And I especially dislike people who are bigoted and hide behind their religion as a means to justify their bigotry. And when they attempt to infiltrate legislature with their dogmatic nonsense, I will get pissed off, and for good reason. But I don't like getting angry. I came here because I want to engage people. People fascinate me, and I like watching them. I've said this before. It really intrigues me that so many people are willing to accept ideas simply because they're possible. It's possible that gods exist. It's possible that we have literal souls that survive brain death and will live forever. It's possible that the universe has a consciousness, or some big giant head created it and controls it. It is possible, because anything is possible. It's possible that I'm not a real person. I could just be some CGI character that some computer geek created and is just trying to get one up on everybody. It's possible. But with the overwhelming evidence that I am a real person, it's incredibly unlikely. There's no good reason to believe it, and that's what I think of God's intelligent design and other supernatural claims. They're highly implausible, there's no evidence to support these claims, and theists know it.